Hi, this is Michael Gennaro, Vice President of Marketing for TMC, speaking to TMC President Rich Tarani about building online communities. Hi, Rich. How are you? I'm doing great. Today's topic, Rich, is why use TMCNet, the world's largest communications and technology site with the largest communications and technology audience, to boost your sales? Why would a company partner with TMC essentially to outsource or to host their SEO on TMCNet? Uh, as everyone knows, TMC and TMCNet build communities on our site, uh, covering various communications and technology topics, micro topics, subtopics, uh, and we're going to talk a little bit today about why TMCNet is the best choice to do that. And I'm sure that you have plenty of insight about this topic. Sure. Well, one of the reasons uh, that comes to mind right off the bat is the uh, the breadth of content that we bring to bear, and and the number of writers that we have, and the quality of those writers. Uh, there are writers on our staff that are well known by uh, an audience far and wide around the world. And writers such as uh, Richard Zippy Gagonis, who's very well known in the telecom and industrial computer space. Uh, we've also got Greg Galitzin, Tom Keating, uh, contributing writers Yourself. of the thank you, uh, contributing writers of the, of the highest quality as well. People like uh, Gary Kim, uh, John Arnold. Um, Peter Radizeski, who hopefully I said your name right, Peter, uh, don't get offended. Uh, th there are just so many top quality uh, writers. Tony Ribb, uh, it, it just goes on and on and on. So in addition to our um, top quality writers, we also have a team of writers who maybe people are less familiar with who cover all aspects of news. And uh, the goal, of course, is to cover not only uh, the news in the highest quality uh, fashion, but also to cover it in its entirety so that you more or less can have a single venue where people can come to find their currently their communications and technology news, which is what we're focusing on. And, and based on what you see, I'm sure you scour many other sites on a daily basis looking for news, uh, compare some of what you see on TMCNet to the other sites that you use on a regular basis, and both in terms of quantity and quality. Well, there, obviously there are a number of sites that do a great job of uh, of also pushing out quality content. Uh, but what you'll find is from a traffic perspective, at the end of the day, the, the web has become a contest to see who can generate the most traffic mm -hmm. as well as who can generate uh, the most uh, revenue from the traffic to sustain their business. I mean, we, we see that uh, there are sites out there that are, that are very highly ranked that don't necessarily have revenue models. And the question that people have is, will those sites be around? So. So the one part is traffic, and the second part is making sure that you have the relationships with the vendors that are uh, sponsoring that traffic. And so our model currently at TMC is we have uh, a, a suite of products. We have trade shows. We have magazines. But we also have webinars and a suite of communities that people are able to take advantage of. And those communities, right now, over 100 of them are sponsored every single month. And uh, that is, uh, thanks to our sponsors, we're able to monetize these different communities. And uh, thanks to the many years we've been in business, we're able to leverage the 4 million plus pages that we have on TMCNet to actually promote all of those communities, which gives them all a very high search rank, which at the end of the day is a crucial part of a media company. How much traffic are they able to generate and how high do they rank on search engines? Because at the end of the day, the web is a democracy and, and search engines help determine who the, uh, who the leaders are. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's translate this into numbers and its benefits for these sponsors. Um, it, it's fantastic and, and uh, beneficial to you and I that TMCNet has all this traffic and this reputation from all our wonderful writers. When someone chooses to, to host their SEO with us by building a community uh, or building a channel, which is another form of a community on our site, what can they expect? What kind of traffic do their communities uh, attract? Do we have uh, mechanisms to report back to those companies how the traffic is then funneled back to their own sites? Because essentially the community they build on TMCNet becomes an extension of their own corporate website. Sure. And the intention, obviously, is to get folks from a search engine onto their TMCNet community and then back to their sales team so, so they can tra translate it into revenue. Sure. And actually, the community that they build on TMCNet is effectively the company's community. It's their, it's their uh, graphics. It's their messaging. It's their branding. It's their look. It's their feel. It's their uh, advertising. It's, it's really their white papers, their whatever else that they want. So it, their it's theirs. So, I mean, they just psychologically, 
there's, uh, there's a leap, a, a slight leap, but it's really having just an extension of your website. And uh, the metrics are all reported on a regular basis, and there's a portal where somebody can go in and see exactly what the traffic is. And uh, for someone who sponsors a global online community, we guarantee a monthly unique visitor count of 40,000, but typically those numbers are anywhere from 100 to 300,000 after a few months. And so uh, from a competitive standpoint, that's an interesting number because most of our communities rank higher than any competitive site. Right. So if you just think that through for a second, a communications news site, we'll take a communications news site X, and then you have a single community living on TMC, and it, it actually outranks. And there are tools and metrics that we have that show that there's more traffic being generated in a single community. And that, that I think, is a testament to the wonderful team that we are fortunate enough having working for us, the, the writers, the Let's designers. I'm going to interrupt you. Sure, sure. That. You're saying that a individual community site, mm -hmm. which can be, range anywhere from a few pages up to, to 10 or 20 or 30 mm -hmm. pages of content on TMC, mm -hmm. will attract more traffic in a month than that company's own site, mm -hmm. by far, and other news sites competitive with TMC. Now. Most everyone. And here's the interesting thing is, and it's going to be more focused. Exactly. <laughs> it's exactly. so you not only uh, you not on only a benefit specific topics. Yes, yeah, a specific set of topics. Mm -hmm. So you not only are more targeted than the competitive site, but you're going to out traffic them. Mm -hmm. You would not. So basically, in order to duplicate uh, the, this product, you'd have to go with a competitive site and say, "I want an ad on every single page." And page, right. you st and you still wouldn't get as much traffic. You probably pay much more. Mm -hmm. And you would get unfocused traffic. It's it's a very it's an interesting twist, and we are fortunate enough to have a site that uh, I look at our site. TMCNet is is how I look at a busy trade show because once a trade show gets to a certain level where people are familiar with coming back to it on a regular basis every year, whatever it is, it it transcends its original purpose and it just becomes a meeting place and it becomes the gathering place where everyone's naturally going to learn about the industry. And TMCNet has become online in the communications and tech space. That trade show and the trade show model has been duplicated mm -hmm. where when people are looking to buy something, they go to TMCNet because that's where most of the content lives well, they're led in the space. Based on their variety of searches in any search engine, uh, relevant communications and technology topics will invariably lead you to a page on TMCNet. And based on the laser focus, as you said, of each individual community, you will get the right traffic seeking the information about your particular topic. Uh, how, tell me about the, the, how you manage multiple sponsors seeking to own the community on a particular topic. There are single sponsor communities. Some sponsors allow their partners to pay to be on their site. Some sponsors allow their partners to just be right. on the site, depending on Share. that. So, I mean, think about it. I, I, I like to think of TMC net not only the trade show model. Well, actually, let's keep the trade show model in place for a second. Uh, a global online community is a premium community product that we have. It's the equivalent of maybe a 20 by 30 booth or a 20 by 20 booth where you can have little pods inside your booth with your partners or you could have your partners in the booth. So that's how you look at what a community is. With the added stipulation that at this particular trade show, if we'll call it a trade show, no one else can be in a 20 by 30 booth offering the same product you are. Right. You are it, exclusive it could, to that set of... It, of it could be similar, but you really can't have the same name, and those names are exclusive, and that's, a, that's something that um, we probably need to do a better job of explaining because one of the challenges that people bring to us is that, well, you just sold this community, I wish I would have known about it, and so here now is the opportunity for you to know about it, that the communities come on a first-come, first-served basis, the terms. The terms are on a first-come, first-served basis, and whoever owns that term owns that term. And they also receive, uh, at, at least this is how we're doing it today, is first-come, first-served basis. It's April 2009, and, and this is up until now, and we've been building communities for a decade. That's how we've done it. So in other words, if you buy a, a community called IP Communications or, let's say, Open Source PBX or, contact or, centers or, or HD yeah. Voice or whatever it is, you have the first right of refusal. And what, what generally happens is sometimes a company will come to us and say, well, why didn't we have the opportunity to buy the name um, first? And it's an open system. Anybody can come to us, and if the term is not taken, they can... They can reserve and build, yeah, they can reserve and build the community. Yeah. Sure.
So essentially, if you think about the way traffic is generated on the web, most prominently through the search engines, uh, companies, have, companies have three options. Option one is to purchase search engine ads. They appear on the right side of the page or the top of the page. Second is to optimize for organic results, their own site, uh, taking the resources they have within that site, using um, web tactics, I will call them, meta tags, et cetera, to elevate the prominence of their own site. Or we've now introduced this third model, which is hosting your SEO on a prominent site, which in theory, in essence, will encompass all three of the different search engine tactics because you will end up with a link back to your own site on a highly ranked partner site. Multiple links, really. I mean, you could have white papers on your site. You could have uh, podcasts on your site. You could have articles on your All site. You could have blogs on your higher. site. Sure, but they rank higher because as part of the, the community offering, the company really designs it. And in that design, they're able to have a section of all the important links on their page linking back, giving them the search engine optimization that you just mentioned. Right. And in essence, this community site can take the place or, or greatly reduce your, your reliance on uh, search ads because your organic ranking will now be situated for free right alongside your search sure. ad on that search engine. Well, and it's not just a cost issue. The, the world knows that those ads are paid for. The sponsored links on the top, the sponsored links on the right, and people are naturally wary of ads. They're naturally wary that, oh, this is an ad, this is an ad. I, I know that this is an ad. It, it doesn't have the same uh, psychological impact of a high organic search result, which uh, studies have shown high organic search results equate in the mind of the searcher to be the leaders in the space. Mm -hmm. right. So if, you're, if your messaging and branding is all over a very high search result, and they continually see your page, your branding, your messaging, they equate you as the leader without you having to necessarily uh, have to hire the team of SEO experts, the team of technical experts, the team of uh, editors, the team of designers, the team of mm -hmm. back-end uh, reporting people, uh, the report builders, the report maintainers, mm -hmm. the account managers. I mean, the, the uh, quantity of personnel and technology and things that have already been built over the course of building 200 of these communities is, is beyond staggering and it's like starting over from scratch. It's really, I mean, to take a look at a company that's, that's really successful in the outsource model, I, I like to look at Salesforce.com because they've just done such a great job over the years. It's like going out and saying, I'm going to start from scratch and build my own CRM system. And that's basically what people are doing with this. You know, they say, right. I'm going to build today, I'm going to go out and build my own CRM system. Anyone would, would say you're an idiot if you decided to do that today. You just don't, you don't do it. It's been built, it's been outsourced, it's been tested, it's been, it's been uh, perfected and continually refined and refined and refined. And so, repeatedly proven successful. Yes. And over and over again, this model sure, is working. Sure, and it's not just Salesforce. There are a number of other companies in this space. So you know, my, my apologies to the other companies I didn't mention. I'll make sure to write about you in my blog down the road so that everyone gets a a good amount of, of press, but the point is, is it logical in a down economy to spend money on a suite of people that you're going to need and then not only keep but maintain? Because what happens is in a lot of companies, you're going to lose one or two talented SEO people or you're going to lose some other talented people and then what do you do? You start over, you've got to, you've got to figure out how to replace that knowledge. Companies have been shown to do better when they focus on their own core competency. So if you build routers or you build PBXs or you build phones or you are developing open source phone systems, whatever it is that a company does, mm -hmm. they're better off doing that and letting other companies who have a focus cost effectively provide them with the solutions that they need. And in terms of getting the message out, in a slow economy, uh, search engine optimization is one of the most important things that a company can spend money on because it is very cost effective. Once companies begin to rank, they begin to see increased levels of traffic, they influence buying behavior because buyers think that they're leaders because they're on the first page. There are so many benefits that come with it. You just got to focus on SEO, do it cost effectively, host it, find a partner. The best thing is find someone who does it for a living and work with them to meet your needs. Well, interestingly, the litany of challenges you went through for an individual company to execute these communities on their own. The hiring of the designers and the SEO experts, the technical experts, the editors, et cetera, et cetera. That applies to other media sites. 
Sure. TMC and TMC Net made these investments over the past decade. Mm -hmm. We have clearly established a leadership role in this type of product. For sure. another uh, media site to make those investments now, forgetting the economy even, just to be able to make the investments and to catch up to our, our search prominence and all the advantages and benefits we're able to give our clients, it's, it's probably not a cost-effective move for those other sites at this point. It may not even be possible to go back in time to do what's been done. Uh, there are reporting systems, analysis. There are reporting systems that have been tested by the largest Fortune 1000 companies, the largest agencies. Actually, the global online community product was built for Intel. It was a division of Intel that uh, was eventually purchased. It was its dialogic division of Intel. So when we first designed the product, we, we really worked with Intel to perfect our reporting systems for the, for the Intel model, which is extremely, um, extremely sophisticated model that I, I don't want to go into the details of, but it was sophisticated. And we learned a lot about that, and we've been perfecting over time. But not only working with the largest of the large companies, we have other large companies as well that have built communities on TMC, and companies like Polycom and Alcatel-Lucent and, and a number of other really large ones. But we've also dealt with the smallest of the small entrepreneurs who have a different a different set of needs and a different set of numbers they want to look at and a different set of, or a different way of doing things. Mm -hmm. So by, by combining the best of the large companies and the agencies, and the agencies are extremely sophisticated as well, with the needs of the entrepreneur, we have developed reporting that has been battle-tested by 200 companies mm -hmm. over 10 years. And uh, that knowledge coupled with the back-end technology to put the right articles in the right place and the links that we've achieved over the past decade and a half that TMC Net's been around are really the differentiators that are, um, I'd say, virtually impossible to duplicate well, at this point. And, and based on what you just said, if that many companies are able to take advantage of this program, if they're able to build their own communities and increase their own SEO, there must be favorable economics when compared not only to their overall budget needs, but to other forms of online advertising. Right? This is not a product that is out of reach, particularly when you compare it to uh, what companies may be spending on those search ads that we see and that we've been talking well, about. Well, a community which is the premium product can be purchased for the salary of one person. So uh, depending on what you pay your people, it's a single person salary. And you're talking about the benefits of a team of search engine optimization experts who are not only experts, but they're experts in communications. And they're not only experts in your area of communications, but they're experts across all of communications because this is what they do. You've got technology people. You've got a suite of technology people who have built communities now for 10 years. You've got a suite of designers who have designed uh, highly trafficked, sites that are extremely familiar with search engine optimization, a team of writers, a team of bloggers, a team of reporting experts, account executives. Uh, it goes on and on and on and on. I mean, that, there's a, just a team of teams of people that do nothing but build these products, but then once they're done building them, go back and optimize. And then when they're done optimizing, re-optimizing and redesigning and redoing and re-optimizing and redoing. And, and it's what this company has become extremely good at doing, and that is building communities. And whether those communities are online communities or they're a trade show community at our IT Expos, we are building these communities, and we are uh, continuing to grow as our partners, as our partners who sponsor the communities decide to sponsor one, two, three communities with us. And in doing so, and this is what really excites me the most, is at the end of the day, the reader the decision maker who's looking to research products and services that they want to buy has uh, easy to find places to go to learn about the things they want to buy, whether it's an IP communications gateway, whether it's an IP PBX, whether it's a firewall, a virus checker, a headset. Mm -hmm. They come, they learn all about that specific topic in one area when they're ready to buy. We, we hope that they'll buy from, from one of the sponsors of, of the communities because they'll be seeing that name again and again and again and again and again. It'll become like a member of their family. So when they make that purchasing decision, they're going to consider that company and, and at least get them on the RFP process. And uh, that's what it's all about.
Rich, thank you for taking some time to explain why TMCNet is the best place for companies to build their online communities. And thanks for watching. Thank you.